Hello, it's the Harry Haggis here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the HD OSD font tool. So this is a great tool if you've got HD Zero goggles or VRXs. Essentially, you can create your own fonts with custom logos. So I had the chance to speak with the developer on Discord as I was quite confused on how to use it at first. However, it turns out that you need to use a command line and it's not something I've really done before. Um, I'm used to just using like Betaflight or iNav or BLHeli, things like that for most drone things, so nothing too in-depth. But I have to say the work that they've done is fantastic and certainly can be very useful. So I'll show you how to use it today. But first, I'll take you over the GitHub page. I'll leave the link in the video description for you where you can go and check this out and you can download it. So like my previous video on GitHub, you just have to click the green code button and then click download zip and that'll download the file for you. So all you have to do is extract the zip file to somewhere on your computer. In my instance, I've just got it set here on the desktop. So inside the folder, you'll find a bunch of different files you want to extract this one here, which is a zipped folder called HD OSD font tools. And I've extracted it here. So this is the main folder that you're going to work out of. We'll go back to the GitHub and there is a bunch of different options you can use of all the different characters and values um, that you can find in Betaflight. The most important one that most people will probably use is the Betaflight logo where you can import a custom logo and it'll show up in your OSD and your HD Zero goggles. And you've also got a choice of basically any font file um, you can use for the font inside your goggles. So say like Comic Sans or today we'll be using another one. So what you want to do is go back to this folder here called HD OSD font tools press Alt D on your keyboard and type CMD. So this is going to bring up a command line interface for this specific folder here. You're going to want to start off with every font typing font builder, which is in reference to this exe file here. So like I said, there's a bunch of different options. The main one that you want to use is dash base. And then you'll need to find a base file. So go into your resources folder, go into fonts, and then I'm just going to select this one here today. There is a couple of other ones that have got other things in here, but I'm going to use this one to start off with. It's a nice good template. So I'll drag and drop that into the command line interface. And this basically just tells it the font builder exe where that file is on your computer to use. So next we'll use the BTFL logo and go back to the resources folder, go into logos and I've got a HH logo which is the Harry Haggis logo here. So I'm going to click and drag that into there and that'll tell again, it'll tell the font builder where that file is on my computer. So next up we're going to do BTFL characters. Sorry dash btfl characters and we're going to use one of the fonts in here so i'm going to go for this one russo one regular and again the font builder is going to know where that is on the computer so to demo this we type in dash btfl demo it'll run the script and boom there you go so this gives you a preview of what it would look like in your HD Zero goggles. So if you fancied trying this, you could obviously plug your HD Zero goggles into your computer through HDMI, bring this um, bring this window up in your HD Zero goggles display, and you would have a rough idea of what it's going to look like. So what would happen if you wanted to use that file in your HD Zero goggles? So what we'll do is we'll type out the exact same as what we had the last time.
And next up, we are going to type dash O, which is the output command. And I'm just going to output it into this, back into this main folder here. So I'm going to click and drag there. And one thing to check is that you've got a space between your dash command and the whereabouts the file is on your computer. Then you want to do backslash and then just whatever you're going to call that file. So I'm going to call it hhlogo.bmp. It has to be a BMP file because that's what the HD0 goggles use for reading the font. Press enter. And it's going to come up with a little preview here of the font file. You can just close that. And if you refer to my previous video on how to upload a HD OSD file onto the HD0 goggles, you can use this file here in replacement of the ones that come in the library and you'll have your nice new logo in your HD0 goggles. Thank you very much for watching.